Michel Gates is a what? A Sumerian. <laughs> exactly. He's a no. part of the mountain of Samaria. And I tell you, if the average Jay gets a hold of this information, they will start praying for the fuck camera, buddy. For the mind, <laughs> Betty, AI more quick. But they get it three days. Yeah, three days. <laughs> three days. Three days. Uh, three days are uh, working. Yeah. And it says, pass the onto Kaza and see from then. Go to Hamas, the great, then go down to Gaz of the Philistines. Be they better than these kingdoms? Or their border greater than your border? Ye that put away the evil day and cause the seat of violence to come near. Damn. Right? And this is what Jacob do. Wait a next couple generations. Nobody most I already designed it. If it's this generation, it's this generation. The guy was dumb. Simple as that. Right? It says, hey, and even even the move that they do, that this the citizens, these citizens, these Guyanese, you know, is so proud of, it's just prolonging the evil day. Because why? Eventually, Venezuela will attack. You got one quick precept for stage, huh? No. This is um, Matthew 5 and verse 18. For verily I say unto you, this is how shall I speak it, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Alright? So all must be fulfilled. Everything in this book must be fulfilled. So the MLTB is here. So then I know skipping our generation, bro. And the one jot of one tittle goes back to yeah, the Hebrew characters. Till what? Not one, not one jot or one tittle gonna pass. Till everything be fulfilled. Nothing gonna go before time. Everything is in alignment. Yeah? Got it done, yeah, bro. Getting um um breastfed GMO foods and stuff. Yeah, I'm making the food. You know? Out of war. Where the food coming from? Not a piss and shit. Yep. You know? Because they had no plants. Exactly. They had no plants. So where they're getting food from. They had animals on board. Can't. Right? It says that lie upon beds of ivory and stretch themselves upon their couches mm -hmm. and eat lambs of the stock mm -hmm. and the calves of the, the midst of the stock. Yeah. You know? So they want to eat $70,000 wagyu, wagyu yeah. steak. 
And this is all, ah, this is beautiful that scripture actually made, mentioned the cows, right? Because the new thing is, um, people are saying this generation, right, selling out for a steak. Damn. Meaning what? They don't want a regular ass dinner. They want to sit for the big bites. Yeah. You know? What the precepts say in Proverbs, but it's a morsel with joy than a... Than a uh, yeah, and a buffet with Saru. Well, I'll see you the Now bring those out. Alright, good. Right, it says that chant of the songs of Boyle and invent unto themselves instruments of music like yeah. David. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, you know. I love this passage, yeah. <laughs> because it just perfectly describes yeah, yeah. Jake's group. And you see the Cuban, you see the Cuban make the joke about Guyana and the war in Venezuela, right? Yeah. He was like, play the chutney music, the Guyanese people love the chutney music. And he, he played chutney music and he, he so just start dancing and the Venezuela gone eat them. You know, and it goes to show Jake. Um, the scriptures talk about the Ecclesiastes 12 when the music is brought low. Because in the time of sorrow, in the time of judgment, they not get out dancing or singing, you know? They're not got no time for you doing TikTok fucking dances and rap and, and rap rap nonsense or whatever. You're trying to make you rap career in Guyana. You're trying to go for the next concert. You're trying to see the next big artist. In the time of sorrow, you're gonna be wailing, but the men, the Lord, they're gonna be singing the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah? Ah, even this fucking Venezuela, Yeah. You know? They, all they want to do is drink, fuck, eat, sleep. Yeah. Strike yourself on the counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Like, uh, Uh, this, this guy from, I'm too sure he's from, but popular TikTok or whatever, he said it so. It's happened normally with these Spanish women. Go away, they come back and they go and take. <laughs> yeah. It's probably really nothing, but it's, it's something you gotta think about. And this guy was saying, no, he was holding the phone actually. Somebody was recording. He's like, my girl just came back from work, you know, and they, they paid her all in ones. They paid her in one dollar bills. So you know what I mean? This bitch was out there hoeing, bro. She was out there hoeing. Oh, you're shaking her ass. Yep. Doing some strange for a piece of change. Yep. yep. Yeah, we, was, we was just getting into that before we start young, you know. Most of these kids are like women, they self to see them alone. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, we was mentioning it for real. Yeah. You know, we, and on the low don't mean for a low price, but for, <laughs> for the right on price. On the D but, low. Yeah, but on, you on, know, the, on down the side. Low. Yeah, on the side. There's a side hustle. There's a side hustle. And they could cloak it however they want. It's just like um, critics said the other day, right? Don't go and let the man carry you out and we you think it is, you the man carry you out, we think you man want, you man want fuck, you man want no friendship. You know I mean naive? How you want it, you know? I've been waiting all my life for this shit, man. You know? I'm waiting for tear that ass up. Yeah. For the most part. Yep. Get back to the scripture. He says that chant, chant to the song 
I'll quiet. Don't no, guys. You know what Israelites love the music? Yes, yes. Every Israelite love the music. everywhere and music is a key part yep. of our of our culture yep. it says and invent to themselves instruments of music like David a drink and when it says invent to themselves music like David right David would make soulful music and so forth yeah but the music these days always says to themselves they make the music for themselves like a stupid song Pound Town I listen to the song yeah I didn't watch the video Utter garbage. Utter garbage. Then I got another nigga woman singing about um, rapping about um, being a submissive woman. Calling all the women bitches. Yeah, you bitches can't cook and you bitches can't cook. It's like, what the fuck? And I keep saying there's a song for everything. There's the song that they're making unto themselves. They're making new, new beats and new. The idea tacky or real good or too catchy or too good. Or for influence you for do ignorant ass shit, bro. For make you more of a nigga by definition, which is what? Tote guns, smoke weed, fuck whores. Yeah. It's, it's all in the rap music. You know? Yeah. Fucking nigga. It's in the RB music now, too. Look at fucking Dexter Dap. This all he's saying about fucking other people, girl. You know? It's in our farm, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even, even the oldies. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, what's it? Calypso. Yeah. Mrs. Jones. Remember the old school song? I was saying what a dolce, bro. You know that you know we get big. Yeah. I understand some of these days. Yeah. But some of these niggas want to stick to the same book. I got mad songs, bro. I need to see what niggas, bro. Yep. This is how they invent, them, invent instruments onto themselves. Not to mark with great creative somebody. But then giving praise to you how about she knows they uplifting the people in a positive light, you know? I remember real music. Real music. Is um it's mostly instrument, yeah, right, without sound, yeah, because without voice. What? what? <laughs> yeah. Talk without, it out. Without you know voice, yeah, right? Because one of the things that's happened that one of the things that's happened is that when when you hear these lyrics, it's like a spell being cast, Ooh, you know, a chant. Yeah, it's like a chant. Yeah. That's not what it says. Is it says that? Nah, it says, that chant to the song. Oh, song. shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even Benji down here used to sing about chanting, you know? The chant the song, you know? You are saying, you know, it's like an energy it pushing forward. It's like, a, like a spell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And these things actually, you know, going to grab hold to the listener. That's right. Because you see a lot of these niggas that are listening to this, you know, this shooting nigga. Mm -hmm. This what is, this what is beyond, this what is timing is beyond, you know? You know, I, I know about you know, cousins, you know, killing each other and them thing. You know, all, all those things, right? Music is a part of it. You know, it's, it's a part of the, you know, the great device that 
he saw use to deceive us, you even, know, um, to keep us docile. Even um, here, Hitler said, Hitler said, give me the, show me the music with the youth and I rule the nation. Ooh. It was something along the line he said. You know, and, the, and he understand propaganda and whatnot. And you know who owned every music, every, music, every like the main monopoly of the music in the industry. A, a Jew, a Jewish, a Jewish man. Ashkenazi yeah. Jewish man. Yeah, and I forget we name. Yo, them, them niggas don't care. Right, because nope. actually watch a podcast with um with one of them. He's the uh, CEO for Interscope, right? Yeah. If you know anything about Interscope, Interscope is one of the biggest record labels, right? And they got a lot of a lot of small small labels. Yeah. Complex out of small small labels that fall under them. Yeah, yeah. Right? Half of white taxes and whatnot. But this fella, he was a CEO and he was a small hat right and they asked him why why they sign artists with uh, these kind of lyrics right and he basically said I get family to feed and if does well the people that I'm probably theater to and does what make me the most money does what I can sign right but that's actually a lie right because people Father learning exactly, yep, and that's why the beat is repeating all the time. And then you, you is, is, is sing a chorus three fucking times, yep. So obviously, the people gravitate towards the and obviously, people are gonna gravitate towards it because it's a system to set up, bro. You understand? And if you listen to the one. No, no repetition. It's like a fucking spell, huh? Yeah. That's what witches is doing. That's what witches is doing, you know? And the uh, abracadabra, focus, focus, them tones, them phrases, abracadabra, it's rhyming. There's a reason why it rhymes, bro. There's a reason why it rhymes, and there's a reason why the Hebrew character is abagadaha, so forth, because they, there's not. It's, it's a language of, of a righteous vibration, but they're using it for evil. Yeah, they they use it for evil. They they warp the words to the more side, right? Uh, like like what I was saying, abracadabra, alakazu, and all them other fuckery that's just they're chatting or whatever. Yeah, I mean that's this movie movie spell spelling cantation, right? But when you see these things, I got a plan bitch on my dick. And you repeat it now, umpteen time. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, ah, uh, what was the event? What's the event? Ah, uh, what's the event? Repeat it, Sana Diga. Ah, wah, wah. Ah. And then shit like that, right? You know? There's the sound of a gun, the man going off. Ah, uh, well, I try to remember one that, that really. And this way, come with idleness, bro. Too much time on your hands. The wise to do evil, bro. Yeah, can Yeah, like I was saying, right? So if you think about it, right? How should I say don't be repetitive the way you pray? Like the Eden. No? Damn, Like the Eden. This is what they're praying for, bro. This is what they're praying for. They pray yeah, for the, the bad bitches and the the, 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 um, the, um, the fucked up clothing. As I ain't gonna call her expensive clothes, this fucked the clothing, bro. Yeah, because, you know, what I was going to say is that there's like them praying on the sun. Exactly. Or making a prayer, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The sun was meant to worship. You know, like, like a heathen. And we know the, the heathen, they can't really pray, you know, mm -hmm. because really should be praying to the Mosai, right? Exactly. So no. they pray in vain. Right. Well, it's more like a spell. We know the Eden, they, lo they love to cast spells. Right? Also, hey. 
that's, that's, that's beautiful when we just yeah, we spread to touch on. Right. Yeah, we just spread to the you know? Yeah. But I'm um, starting to meet all the guys. No, no, no. <laughs> it says that drink wine in bowls and annoy themselves with the cheap ointments. So they got all the fancy perfumes that anoint yourself with all the, the um, this basically this is the goals with a setting. You can notice this this thing in Guyana that like, you know people people get to know more into salons and stuff like that, right? And they get in um they get more more into drinking more because more companies like Hennessy, Hennessy like the setup shop over here, huh? Yeah, man, setup shop over here, every single event is powered by Hennessy. So somebody had a franchise of Hennessy over here, Guinness bin or bin over here, Guinness is a really big thing. Anson Macan. Yeah, Anson Macan is over here. They got new, they got new beverages and coming in, coming in the country and they're promoting. Watch out. Um, there was this week or last week at Abla. This week. I think tonight it's this, actually, yeah, tonight, yeah, tonight is our black, and guess what? Free drinks all night. So it's no coincidence, huh? Yep. They're gonna drink wine in bowls and whatnot. You know? Last last week was our for a visa black. Yeah. Hey, I I saw on uh, Facebook one of the going thing they were saying uh, people posting the our black which was saying. When in, when in Rome, do like the Romans, right? Meaning what? It's bare wickedness. You know what they're, they're going to do? They don't know what like Rome was this. about because they don't know nothing about fucking history. Romans were some vile motherfuckers. They actually they are still some vile motherfuckers. That is just modern day Rome. Another thing too, huh? Um, they got this thing in America called um, Bottle Wars. These man out here buying bottles and pouring it out. This part is the same scripture right here. Who drinking wine? Now they now they're drinking it. Now they're just wasting it. They much um you know what the pouring is at? They pour libations. You know what libations are? Offerings. Oh, you know like um BLM, BLM is a true water. I see the name. This libations to to the dead. They're making offerings to the dead, bro. When they tell you poor water, it's the people that die from, from whoever, police, police, whoever. Them, them people that run that shit, BLM, Black Lives Matter, are witches and warlocks, bro. They were set up by Esau. That is what Esau always do. Fun both sides. Be make gay people, so make you think that they're making a difference. Got you in a fucking delusion. God, this is the Matrix, bro. None of this is real. The life we all want to live is not real. It's, it, it doesn't make sense. It's, it's, of, it's of not. It's of no value. Because when you realize that you spend all your time, when your how shy return, and you realize you spend your time doing shit, this is when you get a, this is when you get a open it like with a thermal nuclear missile. Or famine. Or, or, or whatever. Or martial law or civil unrest. Or war, you send you out in the field, and somebody blow blow you up on your leg, you blow up, you pitch in a car, and you left there for rat. No man shall bury you. The dead bodies gonna lie in, the, in these streets, bro. All right, continue. Huh? Yep. And it says, I drink wine in bowls and anoint themselves with the chief ointments, uh -huh. but they are not grieved for the, the affliction of Joseph. Yep, yep, and the time of Ephraim, right? Not dream. Because then looking back in time, when when um when the northern kingdom was afflicted. Alright? Yeah, go back to here. Too. Or you have to grieve for the affliction that is going on. That is going on in Joseph, right? Meaning what? They don't they don't give a fuck about the state of their people. Exactly. You know? Oh, and the Joseph reference goes back to what brothers, story number brothers, and they just say they don't give a fuck about the people. 
Because what happened with Joseph? Is his brothers turned turn on him? Because the word the word because he was in the spirit and most I set him for a particular particular thing. Yeah, and in this in these last days we, we come in the spirit to Joseph. We telling you dreams, we telling you visions, we tell you where the Lord gonna come, we tell you where kings and so forth. And you want to throw us down in a well or kill us or sell us off. All of the above. Or all of the above. You know? Where are you? Yeah, it says, the 68th year old Microsoft will found out. Sharon shared his views while talking to a South African comedian and writer from Noah on his postcard. But now, on the collective apprehensive that AI will take over human jobs, yeah. it said that AI will not be taking jobs, but will change it forever. Same, same, same difference. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Does the arm? Um, labor force landscape will change right yeah. and they're not going to i guarantee you it's not they're not going to change to benefit the employees it's going to be, change to benefit the employers exactly you know what i mean because imagine when women i mean i think we touched on this a little bit last week when women get integrated into the workforce right a lot of Benefits was lost because it was more competitive amongst uh, the human labor force, right? Yeah. Now imagine you gotta complete like, compete against humans and machines. Man. More benefits will be lost for the employees. Of course, of course. You know? The market is flooded with work. Yeah, it's gonna be flooded, it's gonna be saturated. employers will choose the most efficient and cost effective yeah. you know, which is the machines yeah yeah and they're going to take the skill of humans whoever left out there for, for, for to die and fend for themselves this is exactly what happened bro right. i got a quick precept when the part means that forever yeah it says psalms 4 the 9 11 says their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations right and that's that's their mindset they think that they could um, they could set up this thing and they can change change the whole um, the whole social dynamic of 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 um, of of how a functioning society can work. Yep. The most thing common up the most thing common pull the rug right from under your foot yep. and all that shit can fall, bro. Yeah, I can't script say you know just about when it's about to pull its belly. So you know. Um, so like you, right? Just about when you're about to say, "Alright, I get this shit hooked up just the way I want it," the most I gonna make his return. Yeah. So like you, yeah, how is I gonna make his return? You know? Yeah. So. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it says in the forty-five minute long conversation, the billionaire spoke on the broader aspect of AI and now technology and change lives Salakia and how technology to change lives and on AI displacing human jobs yet believe that there is possibility yet believe there is possibility that society will adapt he said that if the transition happened at the manageable pace and there is adequate government support, then it could lead to a society where less manual labor is needed and people would end up having more leisure time. Through this conversation, Gates was a beat about AI potential, he believes that AI can significantly enhance productivity and also mentioned that it could be 
a great help in the task like programming and testing, it could be a boon in the health care as it will reduce a lot of paperwork for doctors, right? For those like you were saying, uh, um, they're going to AI, AI, because <laughs> if humans are not even needed to program and test the AIs, you know? Yeah. Then, you know, a lot, a lot of people are going to be left jobless. You know? It says, it's also, you know, and, um, you can think about them. It says, um, you're going to choose the same work for the doctor. No. If the AI could store the information and could diagnose the patient, and there's no need for the doctor. Exactly. No? There's no need for the nurses. Right? And that doesn't mean that you get to go home and lay down and get a full week salary, a full month salary. It actually means that you're out of a job. Exactly. You know? And the only left for you. This is why we say, you know, you think it's in the spirit of Eve, right? Because you're being deceived, you know? You're being deceived by sweet words. Yeah. You know, how, how often you have to let a serpent play the same game on you? You know what I mean? It's one, it's a one trick pony, bro. One, yeah, <laughs> one trick pony, but Jake is falling. Yeah, keep following it. This, this, that, that's what the scripture says. He that don't look upon him. Not scriptures. That's why he's saying he that look upon. He that don't look at the past, history tends to repeat itself. Yep. You know, you gotta study the past. Jake, look at the Shame on you, bro. Get fool, you can't fool me again because scripture said um, you got first become a fool in order to be white. Yeah. So you could you could set up all that you want. Okay, so you can set up all that you want. Only you be a fool in the third and and the rest of the world and yourself. Because as it is written, the deceived and the deceiver are his. Most I could say it's not your right to deceive you and to deceive the world. You know? also expresses concerns about it being used for malicious purposes such as defects and cyber attack also command commented on the duality of AI as it can be a tool of empowerment can also be used for polarizing people yeah. and this exactly what happened why because it's an evil and wicked and adulterous generation all this all they care about how they could prank somebody 
how they could fuck with somebody, how could they get revenge, is a very vengeful. The scripture said that this generation will be merciless. This generation will be merciless. The, the love of many shall wax cold. You know what I'm saying? So they can do the most. The most I can put these same left hand angels in the ears because because the, this is what they're listening to. They want, they want, they want meditate in the word according to Joshua, day and night. Yep. They don't want to uh, think about things that are pure, things that are righteous, things, things that are just, things that are holy. They want to go celebrate Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Valentine, Valentine's, Valentine's, Mashamani, Easter. We can list all them things. Fourth of July. Yeah. Shit, they even got shit food. Do with them. St. Patrick's Day. Day. Halloween. You know. But that was like what we was reading in Amos 6. You know, Jake, just want to have a good time. You know? That's why I'm here for a good time, not a long time. This is Jake mentality. Uh -huh. Big arm, um, Billy. <laughs> this is it. Fucking junkies. What's that? 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 Look at me, look at me, look at me. Just like Chris Brown saying, yeah, they too. Look at me now. Look at me now. I'm getting paper. You know. And it's, it's just so amazing, right? Yeah, it's just so amazing how Jake is so... Like, Jake is so involved or engaged in their reality. Because this their, their reality, right? They don't look back and consider one of those might be a trick. You know, they feel that everything is going the way it's supposed to go, which is the right. Right? But they ain't thinking that they're being deceived, they think that they got it all figured out. Especially this younger generation. You try to correct them, they'll fuck with them and feel that because Google tell them this thing is dumb. You know, like I said, I was watching a, um, a YouTube channel and um, something came up about the guy that, that bring out history past the social media. Yeah? That this guy might be a fraud. And which is, which is surprising because like I part of this group, group of game of friends and stuff like that, eh? two tours in the world. And um, one of them think that I run with anything and everything I hear online. With the assumption. But what you don't understand, even if it's a lie, you have to know the truth in order to tell a lie, bro. So if I post something and I ignorant about it, and you know better, and there's the problem with them, they gonna bash you. I look good in front of everybody. He said, uh, and I put it because I said, well, teach me, buddy. Teach me. And he didn't. Because they're not teachers. They just they just want to look good. That's the correct thing to get the attention. And guess what? You don't believe in God. Yeah, because it's like you say, God knows it. Tell a lie. Yeah. There's a hint. There's a degree of truth in every lie. Exactly. You know? A lie is just a twisting or bending of the truth or absence of the truth. Which means which in the truth is just the opposite of what what is the light. You know? So say for example, um the um the three day work we saying that they're gonna be beneficial the lie is that you shouldn't work three days or in this kingdom you cannot work three days and get his get his same pay impossible and they would never do that the lies are so that a lot of people will be left jobless no? yeah here's the lie you know and even if and even if they, they, they are doing that right you're not getting chip yeah, and the food that you give you is not real food because this is the same thing though 
no, it's not eating. But this is the same country that encouraging people to eat unclean bugs. And have been encouraging you to eat you know, it's unclean. Not, it's eating too. Is he? Yeah, he um, investing beyond me. See what I'm talking about? No, so I know there is basically the company. But the number one front runner that looking at alternative farm of meat, you know? It farms a bug, human clone meat or whatever what's not. Yeah. But this is what I love, they're vile. They want you go back to the cave, man. They when they used to eat them, 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 them trash. You eat them unclean stuff, bro. This is what they want. This is what they this is what they putting up on the earth. You know? Um, Back in the article, it says this is not the first time Bill Gates has spoken up about his views on AI. In March, he wrote a 4,000 word long post where he enumerated his perspective on AI and its merits. He emphasized. He posted on AI postage. <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. But go ahead, Art. And says, he emphasized AI potential to revolu revolutionize various sectors, especially healthcare and education worldwide. Of course, healthcare. Of course, education. Because what what can happen? You they're gonna reindoctrinate you from everything that's right, and then. And then they, they might they can, they can say uh, they, can, they can change what happened to, they can change the narrative of history of what happened to our people and a lot of things right uh, and health you don't know where you're going with health because during the CV19 in 2020 he um he was the poor runner for the Jabawaki you know and he was pushing for years to like, take the first step to get the umpteen how much ever Jabawaki. Now people dropping, dropping like flies and they being stiff under the rug. But we know, because we many large, we know. We, we know that death is in the air. We know why people are, uh, are killing one another and so forth. We know that people are hearing voices in their head. People are, are breaking down. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the nigga probably still pissed the fuck off about the um, all them Jews that y'all made it big and y'all, you know, everybody didn't want to yeah. You know, everybody didn't. They're going to find a way out. They're going to tell you it's done. They're going to give you all yeah. your children. Yeah, but... Now we, Lord. What you were saying earlier, you're putting it in the AI food. Yeah, you put in the AI food. <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, we got smoothie waiting for you. We got Jabawaki smoothie waiting for you. What do you know what? Come on. AI, the AI food. You know, Jabit. Yeah. You notice that, um, you know, there's a lot of artists opening food places, a lot of, yeah, yeah. A lot of, uh, like T40. Who? Um, <laughs> Bon B, I think uh, Jack Harlow. Harlow, Captain Harlow. They are opening some sort of food thing, right? So don't be surprised. Their sources come from men like Bill Gates or whatever. Their source of these um, ingredients come from Bill Gates or whatever, bro. Because the FDA don't control a lot of stuff already. So don't be surprised, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Says he had like it says Gates had also drawn parallels with the invention of microprocessors and the internet. He had highlighted AI's ability to address in equity in education, all all while acknowledging its risks such as factual inaccuracy and potential for misuse of 
or this potential mystery because they they created it to use it for evil bro the scripture says we're not ignorant of satan's devices listen what this man is about there's not one good bone or blood cell in his man body or spirit he was made to be evil he's our adversary he's our antagonist he's the anti-messiah you have to talk On the podcast, on the podcast with No, Gates also reflect on his own journey from his childhood years to Microsoft. When asked about how he saw himself, Gates went out to memory lane. I have a lot of people. have a long period from about age 18 to 40 where it was very mono manicical that yeah. it's Microsoft was everything yeah. once I dropped out I didn't let myself focus on anything else then I was lucky enough as other people to go to Microsoft I got to read and learn all about the health challenges why the children died, and that led to his foundation needs for time work. Yes. The man only started to destroy because they want to reduce the population. They only they, they say do a diligent search, a diligent search for war, so that he could rule as a tyrant. Right, this quick piece of break. This is a. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 2 that he be not soon shaken soon uh, we got from one now we beseech you brethren by the coming of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach and by our gathering together unto him that ye be not soon shaken in, in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as, as from us as that the day of Mashiach is at hand let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first, and that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that man of sin is Esau and Edom, and he's showing himself more and more, bro. This three-day work we think could never be for good. Yep. It could never be for good. This man's about gradualism. Tomorrow it might seem good, yeah, I get more time with my family, get more work done and so forth. And then what can happen? You get fully laid off and everybody can be, they can just take whoever they need. That's exactly what they're trying to do out. And these the type of people that can work, they got any bunkers. Doing the minimum jobs. Doing the minimum jobs, the AI helping them and so forth. And everybody up there fighting for the light. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, that's beautiful that you bring up because you know, I had some time off this week because it was like Thanksgiving or whatever, what's not? Yeah. I just find myself watching a lot of Doomsday movies with bunkers and AI and shit. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of them, like you say, I had this one guy who was just like, you know, in charge of, you know, running everything, you know? What movies that you can remember? Like, I was watching this series, um, um, Ah, wayward pint right so basically uh, this fellow he built this utopia because he saw the world was coming to an end right and uh, everybody that everybody that he didn't find useful right when things get hard in the utopia Man. he would basically kill them out yes, sir. Right? No? And the wow. same thing was in um, 2011. The movie 2011 with, with the great tsunami or great flood and something like that. 2012? I think it's 2012. Yeah, I think it's 2012. When they had to have to go on boats? Yeah. All the top people they wanted on the boat. They yeah, could have buy the tickets. They could have paid for the tickets. Yeah, or even if they couldn't pay for the ticket, they understand this person would be valuable to society. You know? Yeah. Um, but this is the most I can do. The most I can destroy the wicked. 
and save the just because they are valuable to the earth, not this man whoa, polluting the earth. I was watching this one to write down Snow Fisher. This is a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, right? A lot of movies. And that, that's, that sums up Pisa, buddy. Pisa, yeah. I think, like after the apocalypse, you can just build a train or some shit. I didn't bunk for how much? Hundreds of years. Yeah. I come out to after the atmosphere, get back to where it was type shit. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen, you know? It ain't gonna happen. Sorry for bust your bubble, but it's not gonna happen, <laughs> you know? Sorry for bust your bunko. <laughs> yeah, anyway, right? And the reason why I said that one is a good one is because um show that he didn't mind to actually build the train. He didn't want things to go back to normal. And that's Isa. Isa don't want this place to, forget about that. to be good. Yeah. You know? He want he want to be worshipped and reverence. Like he's a god, you know, yeah. the savior. You want to be trained. He's like, the head. Um, Jake is the tail. Yep. And those at the back of the train, they had, what do you call them? Tail enders. Yeah. You used to call them tail enders. And who was the leader for the tail enders? Jake. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, hey, just show you, bro. Mm -hmm. Isa, Isa. I think they make a series of it. It's a series, yeah. Oh, I watch the movie. You watch the series. I didn't know they had the movie. I know the movie comes first, then they make a series of it. Yeah, because yeah. the movie was a hit. Or I should think. It was a very interesting concept, you know? Yeah. At the time. But Isa, Isa don't want. And that's what I'm saying, uh, if they wanted us working three days a week we would have been working three days a week. Yes sir. Because what? Technically according to the law, right? Yes. Sundays is double. Yeah. You know, and anything past a part of our work week is time and a half. So Saturday, if we are really going Monday to Friday, Saturday is double is time and a half. Yeah. And then Sunday is double. Yeah. No? There's a card into the laws. Isa said. Isa said. And he don't even keep his own laws. Of course. So what we'll make you think? What we'll make you think? You know, and he, he, this, these fellas can give you a tree. They work weekend to everything nice, everything good, be cool. So how could you possibly integrate that in every single industry, bro? Yeah. So you need the backing from the government to gradually implement it. Figuring it out, the 
said that he was part of a small group that worked around the computers. One of the teachers made a mistake on the computer and lost $200. So no teacher touched that computer ever again. It said while narrating, narrating an, an incident from childhood. When asked what was the mistake that caused the teacher to acknowledge, he said that it was an infinite, infinite food and it was a time share computer where you actually had to pay for, for the compute time and he didn't hit the stop command. He thought, why isn't the program doing anything but he'd written what called an infinite loop. Yeah, so I guess this is like everything else here. Yeah, so you hear this man agenda, give a little backstory about some something. But um he basically wanna control the food and the labor. Which is fucking slavery bro. You can't join the food and labor, it's slavery. You know? It goes out that. So with that, we wanna give all praises to Yahweh. Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Makak, Wadash, Double Honesty Apostles and Elders of Greatness Stone, Citation 104, put thousand men, the one third men, women, and children to be saved. Alright? A bad babal. 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 A bad babal